Mary Gowans denied that she resigned from teaching in January 2010 after being arrested for sexual assault because she wanted to avoid a disciplinary hearing with the Ontario College of Teachers. The 42-year-old said, quote, my life had been destroyed on all levels. I had nothing left and didn't think I could deal with it anymore. The Crown spent the better part of half an hour going through cell phone records, showing that Gowans initiated text message conversations with the alleged victim on at least two dozen occasions, most notably on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day of 2009, and at just two minutes past midnight on January 1st, 2010. Gowan says she doesn't remember texting a message that said Christmas came early, babe, with a winking emoticon on Christmas morning, contrary to what the alleged victim's mother testified she saw on her son's cell phone. When asked why she didn't save any of the 2,200 text messages from the year before her arrest, Gowans replied she deleted them because she didn't have any reason to keep them. The former Joseph Howe senior public school teacher denied in November 2009 she straddled her 15-year-old former student while he was over babysitting before making out with him. The teen testified Gowans then unzipped her sweater and exposed her breasts. That never happened, said Gowans. When cross-examined about the day in January 2010, she said he kissed her and grabbed her crotch. After she leaned in to tell him where the kids were hiding, Gowan said, quote, I was disappointed that he took advantage of my kindness. I didn't hate him. He made a mistake. The Crown said, why didn't you go to police given the fact you were the victim? Gowans, I just thought he got carried away. Did I think I should go to police and ruin his life? I didn't think that was a fair consequence. I didn't think that humiliating him was appropriate. Gowans was asked if she told her husband what had happened. She said no because she knew what her husband would do. She said he only found out a few weeks later after her arrest. She left the courtroom today with tears in her eyes after a difficult three days on the stand. Closing submissions are expected tomorrow. The judge will deliver a verdict this Friday. Back to you. All right. Thank you for that.